Brothers and sisters in Islam, every time we do something wrong, we say, Shaitan, Shaitan, Shaitan. And we forget about an enemy that resides inside ourselves. That enemy is our nafs. Yes, brothers and sisters in Islam, you have an enemy inside you, eats with you, drinks with you, sleeps with you, is your nafs, your own nafs. Indeed, the nafs is inclined to evil, except the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the best person who ever achieved servitude, ubudiyya to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in all his speeches, at the beginning, he would say, وَنَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شُرُورِ أَنفُسِنَا And I seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of, of my nafs. The evil of my nafs. And this is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What about you and me? Brothers and sisters in Islam, في سنة الترمذي, when Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, رضي الله عنه, asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about words that he can say in the morning and words that he can say at night. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him certain words and in these words, وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْ شَرِّ نَفْسِي And I seek refuge with you, O Allah, from the evil of, from, of my nafs. Brothers and sisters in Islam, a lot of Muslims are unaware of that enemy. And they blame shaitan all the time. Brothers and sisters in Islam, have you ever heard somebody saying, I have been trying to give up this sin, but I cannot. You know why? Because he cannot tell his nafs no. Have you ever heard this person saying, I promised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to repent from this sin. And I did for a week. And then I went back to it. You know why? Because of his nafs. Don't you see sometimes some people in the masjid and by all of a sudden they disappear? And then they come back maybe later on in a year or so. And then they re-disappear again. It's because of their nafs. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the first arena of jihad is your nafs. You must wage war against your nafs in order to make it. In nafs, Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah said, is a mountain in your way to Allah. Imagine you traveling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there is only one way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the way, there is a huge mountain. That mountain is your nafs. If you want to continue traveling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you must climb that mountain. You must climb that mountain in order to make it. If you don't, you will not make it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.